Okay, so today we're going to take a look at the Smart Exchange Beta, which is um, Smartboard's kind of relaunch of their library for lessons. Um, now, what I find interesting is that Smart really has a very extensive library now. Um, in the past, I had issues with the fact that they didn't have a tremendously extensive library, and, and what they had sometimes seemed um, a little difficult to fit to curriculum. So, for instance, it's very much similar to, to the way it was before, before you actually were able to um, search by country. Here they, they let you do a standard search, or you could just search all resources. So let's take a quick peek under the standard search, because I think a lot of teachers like to search that way. And we are to automatically have the United States. So I'm going to go down to New York, because that's where we are right now. Or rather, that's where I am. Um, and I'm going to choose just grade 3, just for the heck of it. And I know that grade 3 spends a lot of time on social studies. So I'm going to go to view, and we'll see what they have here. So these are actually just the standards, and where you can see that they have a lesson aligned to it, they'll have view lessons. So social and cultural beliefs, let's take a look and see what the lessons they have for that. Very neat. People and places in your community, timeline, etc. So some of these are, um, are user submitted, and some of them are educators at SMART. Let's take a look over here. I love this feature now that you're able to download it um, over here, but you could preview it very easily right from the page and you kinda know what you're getting. So This one's very question driven in fact this might be a yep as it says over here it's a smart response question set and they've been really pushing those a lot the um, the Sentio or formerly called Sentio remotes are uh, are really smart pumping out a lot of content for that because they want people to use those clickers uh, the students response systems um, I must say that this happens to be a very extensive library over here, and it's nice that you can search by standard and see the lessons that align to it very easily. Going back a little bit under the main search tag, I'm going to type in over here science. And you'll notice I get 2,136 uh, lessons. You then could pare it down further by subject. So over here I could choose, you know, I guess I would choose science from the subject list. Um, and grades, you could choose a, a range of grades, so if you have the scaffold curriculum or perhaps you want to maybe do a lesson that's a little higher, you can search it that way. And this is nice. The other nice thing about it is you can search the images. So they have a very wide library of images over here, lots of thermometers, um, a lot of thermometers here. So let's click on that, and again, you could preview it right from there, which is great. Downloading it, of course, would let you add it to your library and uh, it's very easy to use. I like this service a lot. I think that it's going to be great for the notebook software and um, in conjunction with this they're actually also using a new um, uh, it's in beta right now but it's called the Notebook Express and let's take a look at that real quick. It's pretty limited at the moment but what you can see is the the kind of um, place that they're going in terms of creating a web-based version of the notebook software. Now Smartboard does have you know a 60 plus percent share of the market in terms of interactive whiteboards um, and I think that they, their software really has grown to be quite good. The Notebook Software Express, however, as I said, is limited, so let's take a look at what it can and can't do. Um, very simply, it allows you to edit Smart Notebook 10 files, so you can't really create new files here, but you could work on um, files that perhaps your colleagues have created or files that you haven't finished yet, or, or just review files online. So I'm going to go to File, and you have two choices, either Open or Open URL. I'm going to go to Open and I'm going to choose to upload a file that I have here on my hard drive. So very simply I'm just going to click on a uh, warm-up exercise and upload it to the notebook site. Okay, so this is actually something I have not worked on myself, but this was a, um, a Wilson warm-up. This was having to do with uh, the Foundations version of Wilson, and it was working on matching letter sounds. So over here you can see that each of the pieces that you have created in the Smart Notebook software will move to where the uh, where the graphics are on the screen. There's no drop down menu here to give you extensive choices. Instead, the only choice is either to move it or if you come over here under edit, you can delete it. So inserting would let you insert a blank page. The blank pages you can write on using the standard color sets of markers. So you can come over here and, and write whatever you want. Um, it's kind of nice. I mean, it's very limited, as I said, because you simply just have these tools. But you do have the highlighter tool, so if you have an image or something else that's, that's pasted on there, you can use the basic uh, tools over here to, to highlight and to uh, write. Text tools, you have basic uh, six fonts, so you have some Arial and some Comic Sans. Very easily I can click on the Comic Sans and come over here and type. 
notice that you can do some basic editing. You do get a few more choices over here, but again, I believe that's system dependent and not dependent on the site. Uh, and in addition, you can change the color, and uh, it, you know it's pretty simple. I can come over here, click on it. Oh, <laughs> and again, it shares the same beautiful feature that Smart Notebook does on the desktop. You need to click the arrow if you want to select something and move it around. But that's not bad. Um, you can go over here, Options. You can choose to select a file to upload again. So now you can upload a second file and attach it. You can add blank pages. And that's pretty much it. It's a fairly limited uh, tool set. But as they say on their homepage, they are very much looking to uh, get user input and create a more extensive tool set. Not bad though. So that's the Notebook Express and it's in beta and check it out because as I said it's very easy to use uh, and although limited it is much lighter in bulk than the Smart Notebook full download. So give it a shot. It's express.smarttech.com.